Diane Meyer grew up in Hyde Park, where her father taught statistics at the University of Chicago. She studied psychology and education at Oberlin College before attending Northwestern University's Feinberg School of Medicine. While working as a young geriatric physician at Mount Sinai Hospital in New York, she recognized that modern medicine's focus on curing disease and prolonging life failed to treat the physical and psychological distress of patients. Her studies found that a high percentage of seriously ill patients in hospitals were experiencing limited communication between patients and clinicians, poor management of pain, and insufficient support and social services for family caregivers. To fill these voids, Dr. Meyer established the Hertzberg Palliative Care Institute at Mount Sinai a model program that assists patients and families in navigating the complexities of illness and devises strategies for managing pain and other symptoms. While working as a clinician, she publishes widely on palliative care in major medical journals, develops guidelines and national quality standards for the field, and educates the general public. Dr. Meyer also directs the Center to Advance Palliative Care, an organization that provides technical guidance to hospital staff, creating, structuring, and financing new palliative care programs throughout the United States. The Castle Connolly 2009 National Physician of the Year Award for Clinical Excellence, Dr. Diane Meyer. As, as my colleague Carol said earlier, this is indeed an enormous honor. I'd like to thank Dr. Barandas, Mr. Castle, Dr. Connolly, Dr. Hayes, Dr. Morgan um, for making this wonderful occasion possible for me. I am deeply grateful and indeed thrilled to receive such a special award as a result of selection by my fellow physicians. And in fact, I can think of no higher honor for a doctor. I'd like to begin by thanking my colleagues, um, my, my colleagues in palliative care, both at Mount Sinai and across the country and indeed the whole world, because recognition of palliative care is very recent. It's a new specialty. And the fact that I'm standing here before you is the result of work of thousands of my colleagues trying to bring attention to the quality of life and the relief of suffering of our fellow humans, our patients. Um, this award really belongs to all of us. Most important of all, I, I want to thank my parents, Paul and Louise Meyer, for always believing in me and instilling a tremendous love of service and of science in me and my two sisters. My husband, Warren Sherman, who's in the back here somewhere, um, for his constant love and support through many years of training, through the birth of and raising of our two kids, and through both of our extremely busy professional lives. And I want to thank my kids, Leo Sherman and Anna Sherman, for always keeping me humble, reminding me um, about the important things in life, and bringing such tremendous joy. Um, now I, I want to take my couple minutes up here to explain to you what palliative care is, because many people don't know. And in fact, in a conversation earlier this evening, someone said to me, oh, I guess you do hospice care. And in fact, hospice is a form of palliative care, but it's a form of palliative care that is limited to patients who are terminally ill or who are within six months, usually less, of their death. Palliative care, non-hospice palliative care in contrast, is appropriate for any patient with a serious illness, whether they're going to be cured, and I was just telling Dr. Bradford earlier that we see many head and neck cancer patients for whom the goal of care is cure, but the treatment puts them through their paces, and we take care of them through the side effects and the distress caused by the treatment until they are in fact cured, at which point we say goodbye and good luck. Um, but we also take care of a very large number of patients who are chronically ill, who are going to live for a number of years, hopefully many, with, with no, usually more than one illness, such as cancer plus high blood pressure plus emphysema. Most patients in America today are living with multiple chronic diseases for a very long time. The goal of palliative care is to make that extra time, time worth having. 
Um, I'm proud to say that our field has become an, an officially approved medical subspecialty as of 2007. Um, so it won't, it won't, hopefully will not be considered um, special or unique for you to hear from someone in my field in the next 10 or 20 years. And I'd like to close by thanking, um, as Carol did, our patients and their families, because they are the real heroes of the healthcare system. It is such a privilege to witness their courage, their enormous resilience, their love and support and care for one another. In truth, they are the real heroes of our healthcare system. And because of them, it is such a privilege to be a doctor and to work in the medical profession. Thank you very much.